And we are here with Crispin Glover on GRTV. And Crispin, I want to thank you for taking some time out to come talk to us. Thank you for having me. I, uh, I start the evening with uh, what's called Crispin Hellion Glover's Big Slideshow, but I'm letting it, people kind of often don't know exactly what that really is. They think maybe it's travel vacation slides right, or something. Right. Uh, but I've, I've made, published uh, many books over the years and made many books. And uh, when I first started publishing them, people said, well, you should have book readings. And uh, the books are very heavily illustrated. And I uh, don't, uh, it, if I just stood and read them, the, the storyline would get uh, lost because uh, part of the storyline is uh, brought forth by what, what happens in the illustrations. And so I always knew that I'd have to have a visual entity with it. Uh, so I have um, eight different books in this uh, slideshow presentation. It's a one-hour dramatic narration of eight different books. And I've been performing the show since 1993. So it's become a dramatic uh, narration of these eight different books. And uh, it's, uh, I, I enjoy that. And people enjoy that part uh, as well quite a lot. Then I'll show the film. Uh, tonight I'll be showing What Is It, which is part one of the tr trilogy. Uh, I, I, I premiered that film in Sundance in 2005. And then uh, two years later, we premiered uh, part two of the trilogy, which is called It Is Fine, Everything Is Fine. I'm not showing that here tonight, but I'll come back at a later date and I'll show it. And I started touring around that with that film in 2007, going back to venues that I had uh, already been to uh, with, with What Is It. I, I purposefully give them a separate uh, premiere uh, so people really give it a, a proper chance for each film. Then after the film, I uh, show, uh, I, uh, rather I come out on the stage and I have a question and answer period which usually lasts 45 minutes to an hour and, and that's very, a very valuable part of it because with what is it particularly, both films, but particularly what is it, really people have a lot of questions about it and it's very important that the film is put into a certain kind of context. I don't really explain the film. Right. Sometimes people think that's what I'm there to do. But what I do is I put, I let people understand the, that the film is a, a, a reaction to uh, corporate restraints that have happened within the last 25 or 30 years in uh, corporately funded and distributed filmmaking that uh, I think is, is a problematic thing because it's it's that moment when an audience member sits back in their chair, looks up at the screen and thinks to themselves, is this right what I'm watching? Is this wrong what I'm watching? Should I be here? Should the filmmaker have done this? What is it? And that's the title of the film. What is it that's taboo in the culture and it, what, what does it mean when the, the taboo has been ubiquitously excised? And again, I think that's damaging because when people are asking these questions, they're having a genuine educational experience, and that, that's a very positive thing. So uh, that's, that's something I, I usually say as one of the, during, during one part of the question and answer, but there's of course a lot of details that are, are gotten into, and it usually goes about an hour. Really, I probably have, I mean, I can talk very readily for a long time, as you can tell, but I, I, uh, I, there's at least four, three to four hours of solid material wow. about the film. And now I've done it so much that it usually uh, revolves around reintegrating those three or four hours. I, I, uh, I actually, I talk a lot like I am right now. Mm -hmm. I, I, a single question will get asked, but I'll say a lot of things in a row because I know there's a certain amount of questions that get asked, and if I if I right. say them in a certain way and they relate to what, what the question was, I actually get a lot more done in a shorter time period. I love you. All you love. Good. He's dead. Now we can have a good time.
time for the puppet show. Four snails. Four hundred more injections. I shall be an invertebrate. <laughs> The king of I work for me. Free of this human form. Praise the Lord. Free of this opposable thumb. Oh. People ask about the books, and people ask about films that I've been in, and, and media, and, and, and what have you, and I, I always talk about those things very uh, uh, frankly, and I'm happy to talk about anything. Mm -hmm. But the film, uh, what is it, uh, well, both of the films, they, they really, they have certain experiential qualities to them that, uh, even if people had a lot of questions about other things before they watch the film, usually it, it it kind of commands focus. There's a, a certain uh, a levity uh, to the subject matters that it would it would feel strange often if people didn't ask questions. But I don't I don't care. Whatever you know, some whatever somebody asks, I I'll answer. The the tour is me recouping on these films. I've not I've not yet recouped on on them. I'm getting closer on what is it. But when I say that, what it is is the way I'm recouping is not on the box office. Uh, generally, I sp split 50-50 with the venue what, what it is okay. that uh, uh, is normally charged for a ticket price. So if it's a, a $10 ticket, they take five and I take five. But what I charge over for the, the slideshow present, mm -hmm. live dramatic narration of the eight different books and the question and answer, uh, that I take 100% of. And that's really where I'm able to Recoup, and then the, the books right. uh, that I sell, which I, I publish and I manufacture the books, uh, that's, that's a huge part of it as well. So I'm not really making, even, even when I'm, yeah. what I'm considering recouping, it's not really on the movie, it's on the ancillary uh, elements uh, that the movie uh, is enabling me. Uh, uh, well, there's a lot of them. Uh, I'm sure, but but uh, when I was making what is it specifically, there were four filmmakers that I was very much uh, thinking about. Mm -hmm. uh, one was uh, uh, Werner Herzog, right. another was uh, Rainer Wer Werner Fassbinder, another was uh, Louis Bunuel, and another was Stanley Kubrick. Okay. But I, I'm sure there's other right. filmmakers that have had influence. I mean, uh, uh, Werner Herzog is lo alive, and he's been really great and really supportive and, and David Lynch was uh, actually quite supportive of a of a, a uh, what what the film that will end up being part 3 of the trilogy uh, which I haven't shot yet uh, he had years ago agreed to executive produce that for me to direct which ended up leading me into making these the these other films I don't even know if that will happen by the time I get to it but I'm very grateful to him for just even having uh, offered to do that it, it was very helpful and a you know a, a racer had uh, when I saw that film over and over again when I was 16 it was a very uh, important film to me